Cargese, you can see it's a wonderful, uh, wonderful place. I had the occasion to discover all this beautiful and wonderful land. To meet different uh, scientists and uh, different people. To attend some conferences uh, given by experts in their fields all, uh, all around Europe. It gives me so much uh, uh, knowledge and uh, the, the motivation to pursue my uh, research. like a good opportunity to conciliate the wonderful view and also the study of the physics. Such as uh, top quark uh, physics or uh, theoretical uh, physics. This is a very good chance for uh, students, I think, <laughs> to make a relationship with other uh, professors uh, in other uh, universities. Getting to know the community a bit better across the different nationalities, it's pretty nice. The school of Carges uh, is a Bologna Clermont Dortmund school, ABCD, uh, for high energy physics, uh, which started in uh, 2015. Uh, there was uh, a desire in all the, in Clermont, but uh, also in Bologna and Dortmund, to do something to try and improve the, the quality of the, the teaching and innovate uh, with uh, new activities. And so uh, there was a joint movement to try and do something together. It was quite an adventure uh, because uh, we had little ready. Uh, we had to improvise a lot of things for the travel, uh, everything, because we didn't have that much uh, support or money available for organizing that. But uh, it turned out that uh, if uh, many of us uh, teachers knew each other uh, on a personal level, one, by, one to another, well, two by two contacts if you want, it was uh, a very uh, strong connection that started from that moment on. You may say, uh, why go to a nice place to do physics? Well, uh, because uh, it motivates both the teachers and the students, and we can get the best out of uh, everyone uh, by being in such a wonderful place. It's absolutely amazing coming here to Cargés. Uh, I've been here a couple of times now, also in summer, but in particular in spring. It's just so beautiful here with the with the sea, and it also it affects the students how they interact with each other, how they perceive the lecture. There's no distraction from their everyday life. Um, we are a little bit secluded here, and that's. That's quite an advantage, so everybody sticks together, we, the students cook together, we have the meals together. About 30 students from Europe, from Italy, Germany and France, and something like seven, eight teachers. I think it's the perfect balance between uh, the number of students uh, and the number of teachers, in particular we are uh, under the critical mass uh, where you can create this uh, uh, magic atmosphere among the teachers and the students. That's very, very nice. This is the sixth edition of the school. With the group ratio after the COVID crisis, we were able to have it in person. The school is an important step for the student career as they have the opportunity to have a full immersion in interesting topic, chat with teachers in a friendly atmosphere, and socialize with colleagues in an international context and in a wonderful location. To bring the, the core of what is high energy physics as we feel it and live it on an everyday professional life from the moment of the master uh, program directly on. What's 
characteristic in uh, high energy physics is that it's very international, totally international. The collaborations are worldwide collaboration. And we felt that this didn't reflect in the way students at the master level were perceiving the field. They didn't realize how everyday international connection existed between the people. And also we wanted to try and convey the idea that uh, physics is exciting, that it's fun. So my name is Kai, Kai Zia. I'm a student in physics from Dortmund. Uh, my name is Boama Masten and I come from Algeria. I am Mahmoud Abdelhai Ali. I'm from Egypt. It's a wonderful uh, experience to attend all these uh, conferences. We learn a lot about uh, the standard model. Both about the experimental aspects of uh, physics, both about the theoretical aspects. I learned a lot about the experimental stuff here because I'm a theorist myself. I don't usually get to look into the details. I really enjoyed the international uh, breadth of the school because it's full of international students, of course. You here can uh, meet uh, a student and a professor from other universities uh, around uh, Europe. I really like to to uh, be part of the discussion and to, to talk about the subjects with a different variety of experts. The team of uh, professor uh, are uh, very rich of uh, different experts of different fields. And you can also get your hands on many different uh, ways to treat uh, um, topics. It was a great opportunity to know the new project uh, our uh, physicists are doing now in world and uh, I think it's a very good opportunity for me to attend uh, this uh, school. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been wonderful. This year I had a lecture on uh, neutrino physics, uh, which uh, uh, treats about these uh, elusive particles, uh, which uh, uh, are very peculiar in the so-called standard mode of particle physics, because they are extremely light, and we have to understand why they are so light. And we are performing a, a lot of experiments all around the world uh, using different techniques, both accelerators and non-accelerator facilities, and so on, in order to try to give some answer to this uh, important question that could uh, have some impact also on uh, uh, theories which go beyond the uh, standard model of particle physics. Maximiliano Scioli is a very interesting character because he has a wide range of expertise going from neutrino physics where he's been giving the lectures this time, while being a member of the Atlas collaboration, an excellent uh, uh, professor with uh, exceptional pedagogical skills that uh, is often lectured the best lecturer uh, of, the, of the, the school. And uh, students are uh, really fond of uh, listening to his presentations, so he's a pillar of the, of, of the school. So I'm the one introducing the students to the standard model, which is a little bit the alphabet in, in particle physics. It's the best model we have that describes fundamental interaction. At shortest distances, and it includes the strong, the weak, and the electromagnetic force. And we discuss this a little bit in the nutshell. Most intriguing concepts and that's probably symmetry, the symmetry concept. We describe fundamental interaction by symmetry and that makes them very predictive and in a sense also very beautiful. So uh, we talk about the standard model and uh, quarks, uh, the leptons and of course we talk about what's beyond the standard model. It doesn't explain flavor, it doesn't explain dark matter. These are all very interesting things at the moment, but there are also sometimes experimental hints that are not established yet, but maybe give direction for, for new things, for new experiments, for new enterprises, and from new 
um, theory models. And this is discussed. And this is what we discuss here every year in a very topical way. So we don't discuss always the same thing. It's the standard model in its actual context, what we present here. Gudrun Hiller is a, is a renowned expert on uh, physics uh, beyond the standard model, well known for uh, her uh, very active uh, research uh, uh, productions, but also for uh, caring a lot about students. She has many students and uh, she values the fact of transmitting in a school like this to uh, master students uh, new capacity. It's an opportunity to teach outside because it's, uh, it's relaxed. Well, it's something they can't do at home. So it makes this event really, really special. It also transfers the concept that science is fun. Science is not just books and hardcore mathematics and just thinking until you collapse, okay? It's also being open to new ideas, um, getting inspired, and, and an outside lecture is, is just fantastic. This is so much physical, this, I mean, having the chalk, and you can erase things, and, and uh, it's PowerPoint is, is very efficient, and it is a medium for conferences where you have very little time and you want to convey information if you want to teach in a time or in with some timing that students can follow, um, you need to be significantly slower. So this is why the blackboard is so nice, because you just write and it's the right speed, okay? It's the speed that humans can think. The blackboard definitely wins. I'm Yanis Hazem. I came from Algeria, where I did my first master degree. So my name is uh, Charles Salard, and I'm a French student coming from uh, Clermont-Ferrand, from the Fundamental Physics Master. I'm Martina, I'm uh, 22 years old uh, from uh, Italy. I studied in Bologna, I started my master degree some months ago. I'm uh, Sacha Soudrain, and I'm a student from uh, Clermont-Ferrand. These experiences are, uh, let's say, extremely interesting because being able to attend the conference given by such uh, experts. That teaches uh, a lot of different things that uh, we maybe can and uh, learn more about uh, in a uh, common lecture. Teachers coming from different countries and collaboration discover many new, new fields of physics, which was really exciting. It is extremely rewarding uh, from, um, let's say, a student perspective. I don't have another word to explain or describe or other thing. I think it's a pretty good experience because uh, we uh, meet uh, some uh, other guys in uh, physics. It's uh, very interesting to uh, mix uh, all those guys. Learn also about uh, other countries and uh, meet uh, people that study maybe different things. I'm uh, most interested in cosmology. Even if my preference uh, in physics is not uh, exactly high in the physics, the interest at the at the proper physicist is extremely high for this kind of event. One characteristic also of the school is to uh, bring the students up to the level of uh, catching up with the latest developments in the fields, the latest results that are exciting in the community and that are presented in the, the Winter Conference of Morion. Uh, where indeed uh, most uh, high energy physics uh, collaborations prepare new results. And so we make a point of trying to get this event happening shortly after the Morion conference so that we can say we get the students to the point where they can appreciate what's new in the field. Angelo Carboni is a wonderful uh, professor, he has a very spontaneous way of describing things. He was giving the conference at CERN for the result uh, that he was uh, participating very actively. And this was uh, presented uh, simultaneously at the Morion conference. And I was uh, very pleased to see that he had been chosen to present that important result uh, at CERN. 
The topic of my lecture is uh, flavor physics in the quark sector. Flavor physics is a powerful tool to assess new physics beyond uh, direct production at the accelerator. I start from the Lagrange of the standard model, introducing the CKM mechanism. Then I show the student how CP valuation uh, and meson oscillation have been discovered in history. In the last part, I concentrate on a new result presented in the Winter Conference. This year, I spent a few time on the recent uh, measurement called B anomalies that are generating a great interest in our community, as it can be that we are very close to a remarkable discovery. Emmanuel Stamou is, uh, is uh, the, the Benjamin of the, the, the teachers here. He was so dynamical. I mean, the, 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 his presentations were really uh, top quality, and uh, the way he participated also in the events was perfectly fitted with this quality and uh, reactivity motto that we want to try and keep in the in the school. So. Uh, we really look forward to having him again uh, next year. This year's machine learning lecture will be given by Emily Ishida. She is a CNRS researcher in Clermont and has an incredible career, which is by herself already completely international. She's the founder of the Cosmo Statistics Initiative, a very original uh, structure that she created in 2014. She has a very um, active and uh, lively way to present things. And I'm sure she will be uh, a close contender for the best lecture this year. The starting of his lecture is uh, with questions like, what is learning? And this is definitely something that uh, students will benefit from. Bringing people together uh, is uh, one thing, but they need also to know each other scientifically. I mean, who are they? What are they doing? Students here, and they, they are just a great team. They go together to the beach, uh, they discuss and they give uh, presentations on their projects here. Where every student can say what he's working on, what he likes in physics, uh, what he's been doing in recently uh, in his uh, young uh, physicist life. students, they present um, bachelor thesis works, so shorter projects, they present works on the MSc thesis, which is more advanced, and we have some early PhD students who are really like almost cutting edge research um, what, they, what they work on, on a variety of topics, the topics of the school, which is experimental and it's theoretical work, and it's, it's great to see them and enjoying being on stage. I'm Marco Scarnera. I study in Bologna, nuclear and subnuclear physics. I'm actually from Bari. My name is Muner Omani. I'm a master two student uh, in the University of Clermont-Ferrand. I'm Valentin Rabon and I'm from the Master of Clermont-Ferrand University. I'm doing particle physics. My name is Dani Shalom and I'm from India. Actually, I'm Algerian. I had my master degree at the University of Algiers. And I am here doing masters in physics from University of Bologna. It was uh, wonderful to have the opportunity to do some physics, uh, something we love. You can uh, know a lot of people uh, from uh, different backgrounds, uh, 
speak with them about uh, what you're passionate about. Ah, it was a really good experience. I really liked it. If you are going to pursue your career in uh, high energy physics, this course is right for you. As I'm working uh, with my internship on flavor physics, I really enjoyed the, the lecture of uh, Professor Angelo Carbonet. I'm doing my internship about uh, the research of dark matter, so uh, I had uh, some ideas uh, from the meeting that uh, I had with uh, the different professors. Even if you are going to attend and uh, some uh, uh, corporate discourse give you a broad perspective about uh, and uh, give you the great background for your careers now and uh, in near future. And it's a really, really nice environment. So this is great for you. We will welcome all you and request you to join this course. Bringing people from three different countries together, uh, there is of course the, the risk that each group, uh, each uh, country stay by itself and that's what's happened in the beginning. And so we thought that it was very important to find ways of breaking the ice and for instance music is a very effective way of uh, getting people together in a more, not relaxed, but a different way. This place in Carges actually is uh, famous for that. There are, there used to be many pianos around, and uh, uh, there is a long tradition of physics and music in this place. Sports is another way of touching people's feeling, and uh, it's also a group activity, so people have to organize. And uh, so we try to make uh, international teams and, uh, and uh, playing together uh, on the beach here or not, but uh, playing together is another way to break the ice and create uh, new uh, connections between the students. And I think that by the end of the week, uh, the people really know a lot about uh, each other from all the countries. just here to listen to physics, which is of course the first purpose, but as we said, we wanted to reflect the fact that uh, high energy physics is about connections between people in different countries, and one way to create that and uh, get the students feel that from the master on, is to have these kind of activities on top of the uh, physics lessons, of course. Mm -hmm.